And then that little Samaritan woman, when the Scripture said that this Messiah would do these things, and here he stood and did it just exactly what the Scripture said, she said, there he is. Come see a man. Isn't that exactly the thing that the Scripture said would happen? See? She got stimulated by revelation. Is that right? She becomes uh, stimulated by revelation when it was vindicated. See? That's right. She knowed that there was, we know that Messiah is a coming, who's called the Christ. And when he comes, he will do these things. She's seen it. He said, I'm he. <laughs> then the stimulation started. <laughs> and away she went. Shouting and down through the city, she left her old water pot and went down there and said to the man, come and see. Now, if you only know the Eastern traditions, that's wrong for her to do that. Yes, sir. A woman of that type, nobody listened to her. No, sir. See, she had a mark. And when she, if she would go down the street like that and act like that, the man in the street paying attention to her brother. <laughs> she had a word of life there. She was stimulated. You know, like trying to put a house out on fire on a windy day. <laughs> oh, there's something fanning. <laughs> she, was, she was ready. <laughs> yes, she couldn't put that out. That was God's fire. Amen. Amen. She said, if you don't believe it so, you just come over here where the meeting's going on. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. And so the man went out there, and he didn't do it one more time, but they knew something happened to that woman. She was changed, so they believed him. Yes, sir. They believed on him. Because faith cometh by hearing, hearing the promise of God, the Word of God, and watch it being made real. Because it's a seed, and when it's sowed, it'll take life. Amen. It'll produce just what it's talking Amen. about. Amen. If it doesn't, then it doesn't got seed. Amen. Or the sower didn't know how to sow it. He wasn't sent of God to sow seed. He might be sowing them on top of a rock or something. So you, so you see, the sower, sowing the seed, God takes care of it. It falls in the right place. Oh, my. <laughs> then, what does it say? To this rider in black. Don't you hurt my wine and my oil. Don't you touch it. <laughs> my wine and oil. Now I've got just a little bit of it down there, but there's still a little bit there. <laughs> yeah. Now you can go on through and measure out all that kind of life that you're putting out. That's up to you. You're going to pay for it down there. But when you come across that wine and oil, you leave it alone. <laughs> oh, my. If you can, if you, in other words, like this, if you catch some of my little flock <laughs> that's filled with my oil and wine, see, <laughs> uh, wine and oil are the pure words, see, and you're going to kill them because you, you're doing it, that's what you're doing. Don't you force them to say any hey, oh, Mary, or do anything like that or some of your creeds. You keep your hands off of them. They know where they're going. <laughs> or they are anointed with my oil. And by being anointed with my oil, they have the wine of joy because they know my word of promise I'm going to raise them up again. Amen. Don't hurt that. Don't go try to mess them up because just keep away from them. Amen. Oh. oh, he vindicates his word and brings it in. They know. They knew they'd rise again. Oh, how I like that. Whew. They'll rise again. Amen. Here comes a black horse riding now. Dark ages. That went to a white horse. We've seen what he done perfectly. Here comes a red horse. We see exactly what he done. Here comes a black horse. You see his same rider all the time. What he's doing right down through the ages. Now, we find out he measured it out and charged for it. Exactly. Wheat. Natural. Natural life. That's what he's living on. But symbolizing spirit, oil, and joy of the wine. That's spiritual life. Don't hurt that. Leave it alone. In other words, Rome, don't you touch it. It's mine. Amen. Amen. That belongs to me. Now, I've got another thing here I want you to notice. Notice, it was not one of the four beasts that said, don't touch the oil and the wine. Did you notice that? Amen. The four beasts have been talking. But watch. 
Let me just read out here just a little bit. See? Now, measure a penny for a, a bar, a wheat for a penny and three measures of barley uh, uh, for a penny. And see that I hurt not the wine oil. Now, listen here. And I, and I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts. What was it? The Lamb. <laughs> what the four beasts? <laughs> the Lamb said it. Wow. Don't take his own. That bones to him. Amen. Don't you touch that oil. No, sir. Not the four beasts. But the Lamb was the one that said it. And oh, my. Amen. The Lamb, not the four beasts that announced this. The Lamb said itself, when the four beasts said, come and see. And they went and see it like that. He said, a measure of wheat for a penny and a four may, and so much like this and so much barley. But then the Lamb cried out right among them and said, but don't hurt the wine and oil. Amen. That's right. Oh, my. Listen to it. Don't you hurt it. Or you're going to pay for it someday. Oh, my. 9.30. Well, to the best of my understanding, and the best of, that I know of, and with all that I believe in my heart, that's the true meaning of those three seals. I want to thank God for it. And I'll say this, that it's a revelation that He gave me he gave that to me, the revelation of it. And I do believe that we're living in the last days. Amen. Tomorrow night we're we'll take that pale horse rider. And I, I don't know, I do not know, God knows that's true, I do not know one thing about it. No. I looked up my old context I had years ago. I seen Brother Grim Snelling a while ago. I might have went out. But I remember when I was preaching here before... I looked up to see what I said years ago one day. I was going through the book of Revelations. I took all four horse riders one time. I said, a white horse. That was the early church, no doubt. I read that out of the book of the Adventists and I read something. I said, that was the early church that went forth conquering. And the next was a black horse. I said, I forget now what I call that black horse. I said, um, or the red horse, rather. I said, that horse is probably mean that if trouble is on the road and it's going to mean a lot of war is going to hang up or something like that. I said, probably there'd be a lot of war. I said, that's what they'd be. And then I said, the, the pale horse, or the, the black horse, I said, that, that means that, that maybe there'll come a black time on earth when all the stars will, will put shine and the sun will go down and the moon won't give its light. I said, that's probably what that means. I said, the pale horse, it means a lot of sickness is coming on. <laughs> I don't know what it means. But that's, that's my interpretation of it. Then, of course, I just took it the best I could stay here in the pulpit. But... Oh, I almost said something. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh, you, you'll see. Which one? Now. Glory. Oh, oh, aren't we happy for this hour? And we see all this thing heading up. I think nations are breaking. Israel's awakening. The signs that the prophets foretold, the Gentile days numbered with horrors and comforts, return of this first to your own. The day of redemption is near. Man's hearts are fading for fear. Be filled with the Spirit, your land stream and clear. Look up, your redemption Oh, my. False prophets are lying. God's truth they're denying. That Jesus the Christ is our God. You believe it? But we'll walk where the apostles have trod. For the day of redemption is near. Man's heart are fading for fear. Be filled with the Spirit. Have your lands trimmed and clear. Look up your redemption.
Christ's redemption is near. And it shall be light in the evening time. The path to glory you will surely find in the waterway is a light today uh, buried in the precious name of Jesus. Young and old, repent of all your sins. The Holy Ghost will surely enter in. The evening light has come. It is a fact that God and Christ are one. He's the Word. Wonderful. Soon the Lamb will take His bride to the ever and His side. All the host of heaven will assemble me. Oh, it will be a glorious sight. All the saints in spotless white. And with Jesus they shall feast eternally. Oh, come and die. Come and die, for oh, you may feast at Jesus' table all the time. We have an interpreter here, Brother Higginbottom. I don't know if he's here tonight or not. We'll find out what he said to us. Just wait a minute.
Praise the Lord. My faith is li- lifted up high in God. You you love Him tonight with all your heart, buddy? Oh, praise Him. Say, thank you, Lord. How we give you praise with all of our hearts, Lord. Glory to God. Just give you praise all you can. Remember baptismal services tomorrow night at 